bet you know. Name a squad that is better though than my whole team. We a pot of gold. I'm a dog dog. I'ma need a bone for my whole team. I'ma let it go like blah. Yeah. In the Coach, just a tick under 70,000 packed in here at Nissan Stadium. Not a seat to be had as playoff football and certainly playoff fever have descended upon the music city of Nashville, Tennessee. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First down, Mariota. They will find Davis. That's complete. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mariota. He'll find Taylor, that's complete. First down, Titans gain of 12. First down, Grant takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Mariota now from the 50. They're going to set up the screen here. This is Grant. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 30. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. 
And room there to work it inside the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy this caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Switch it, switch it, switch it, come on, switch it. One, 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 one. Mariota to Lewis on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the first carry here for Philip Lindsay. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys and continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. 16 yards, a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This time, Jackson will throw it. Dancing to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. A run with Lindsey out of the gun, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now it's Jackson. Open man is Myers. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. First down, Raven. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On second down. It's Lindsay, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Third and two, here's Jackson. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two, as they've got it with a first and ten. Jackson on first down. Got a man, it's caught. 
for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown there to make the grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Mariota. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. So naturally, they will decline it. They got the first down anyway on the play. Who needs a penalty when you picked up the first down through hard work and effort anyway? First down. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Now it's Lindsey. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Play action. Now Jackson rolling to his right. Oh, he just needed to throw it away, but instead out of bounds he goes, and that's a sack. Minus nine yards on the play, and now it's third down. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position. Now facing third down. To throw is Jackson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. And they got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. The run there on first down, going to get him five up to the 30. Now it appears we've got an injured Raven down there on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Three, three, three. Now a give, right side. It's Grant. Room here to run. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Grant, 70 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. There's an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, of just getting there and taking off and going? For the defensive guys, plays like that really hurt. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Set. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. They'll run on first down. Grant. And to the 36 yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Grant. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Mariota on third and two. He finds Humphreys. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. Check three, check three, check three. Check, check one, three. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. And a reminder, folks, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report coming up shortly. The coach with us, as always, as he will start to look ahead to Super Bowl 53. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Matt Judon. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. From the gun, Mariota. And this is going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a goal. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 77 yards. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Grant. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Mariota now to throw on first down. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Mariota now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. They will run with Grant. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here's Mariota. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. The Titans on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Mariota to throw it. That's complete to his running back, Grant. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, one more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC championship. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Second and six, just inside the 30. Stop your body. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. Jackson on first down. He's got his man. It's Andrews. Yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Okay. 
Jackson and the offense come up first and 10. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. They go play action with Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. From the gun, Jackson. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Jarrell Casey able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw Mariota. Now they go screen. It's complete. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. There's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Now Lewis here on first down. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. On second down, here's Henry. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 34. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. First and 10 at the 29. Let's go. On first and 10, here's Mariota looking for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. 
this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Mario the throwing complete there to Walker. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A first down carry for Henry. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Matt Judon there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Mariota. And that'll be incomplete. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. They go play action. Mariota. Flush to his right. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Nashville. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Jackson, option right, and no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Jarrell Casey giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Here's Sam Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. On the return, Jackson. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. At 
The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Mariota. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll make it a second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short gain. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. the play fake. Here's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Lindsey. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eluding the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And with that, they have taken the lead by a point here in the fourth. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And Walker has it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mariota hands to Henry. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage.
fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A second down run with Lewis. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. They'll stay with Lewis here on first down. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Mariota. And his throw is incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. They keep it with Henry on first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball on the right hash in order to kick the field goal. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. On now is Ryan Suckup for the field goal try. And the kick is good. He got it. And with that, they are off to the Super Bowl. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And, you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, they've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this?